What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. As always, I'm Amir. For those of you who are new here, welcome. So if you've been following the past four episodes, y'all will know that this entire series has been building up to the Singapore Athletics Interclub Championships, specifically the 5K event. And now that time has come. So now without further ado, let's get started. What's up, y'all? Um, I'm at the practice track already. It's like 8.05. Um, I'm going to be getting ready for my race. And yeah, I'll see you after this. Hey guys, so um, my event got postponed to the evening. I was already like 2.2 km into it. <laughs> uh, worst part was that I was on pace, I was feeling good. So I'm like a bit. Yeah. But it is what it is. I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> I'll just come back in the evening and be ready for the race. Yeah, see you then. So I am. I have a race this evening, but um, I actually already planned for a birthday lunch. Yeah, with my friends. So yeah, because <laughs> I'm gonna go for my birthday lunch. Then after that, I'll probably. I don't know, rush home, rest a little, then head back to Kalang for a race. <sighs> Hi guys. This is like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, this is George. This is Tara. Okay, so as you all know, um, the morning race was postponed to the evening, so I'm gonna go take a nap and I'll see you all later. I forgot my... I forgot my race jersey. One year marks. My friend! What? What a bet. No need. Huh? He tell me he gonna run. Stop. Stop. One. One six. One six what? How much you betting? <laughs> <laughs> he don't bet already. <laughs> Why? Mm -hmm. Alright, now it's time for me to review my race. Going into the race, I didn't have expectations of a good timing. But when it came time to race, I told myself to forget about everything and just run. Because at the end of the day, I've done the work. If my target is meant for me, then it's meant for me. What? The button... Stop. No, because of this thing. Oh no, got two video now. Let's put together lah. <laughs> Can't like that. No, movie, right? <laughs> Okay, so uh, moving on from that mess up, let's go back to analysis. For this race, the plan was to start quick and settle in after 400 because I didn't want the added stress of needing to make up a lot of time. So that's exactly what I did. When the gun went off, I bolted to the front and pushed the pace. I covered the first 400 in 72 seconds, which gave me enough breathing room to settle down and get comfortable. After that, I just turned off my brain to any thoughts and got into a nice rhythm. I did hear the cheering, but I just didn't want to register any of it. So let's just fast forward a little because the first 2k was a blur. I went through 1k in 3.16, then 2k in exactly 6.40. Me switching off led to the slower pace, so I had to re-engage after 2k. 
This also meant that whatever advantage I had gained from the faster first kilometer was lost, but I kept my cool and stayed the course. I got through 3k in 10 minutes, and at this point I was still feeling rather comfortable. My coach had told me to lock in for my 4th k so that's exactly what I did. I told myself to step on the pedal because I knew if I kept relaxed, it would mean I would drop pace at that point. And because I had nobody to run with, I instead concentrated on catching back markers. This was quite apparent to my friends in the stands, so much so that they had this to say. Ah, man. Bro, he's faster now. Look at him kicking. Maybe I wasn't paying attention the entire time. It's, it's no longer 100 meter gap already. But this guy, I, I think he increased his pace. He's in the class on his own now. Yeah. He's, yeah. No, he's no more one man army, bro. He's a 110 meter. One man army. He's no more one man army. He's one troop himself. Yeah, but uh, he's Russia. He's an absolute unit. <laughs> you are a Russian. <laughs> you know Malay, brother. You are a Russian. Okay? Whenever there's someone in front of him, right? Do you realize whenever there's someone in front of him, <laughs> yeah. yeah. By the fourth K, I was really having to concentrate and keep my form steady. I should have known. The first 3K felt too good to be true. But then again, I had put myself in these positions before in training, so I knew it was going to hurt. I'm just really blessed to have been prepared properly by my coach and my training partners. Anyways, my time at 4K was 13.21. At this point, when most would pick up, I was really dying. I did what I could to keep the pace going, such that I wouldn't have too much of a deficit to overcome in the last lap. I covered the first 600 of my last K in 2 minutes and 3 seconds, and I knew I was off pace. Instead, I wanted to pick up from 300 meters out, but I had conceded to myself that I would miss 1640 and had settled for sub-17 instead. From the video, you can see that I barely picked the pace up for my last lap. With 100 meters to go, I was still 3 to 4 seconds off. But when I saw the timing board and I saw I had a chance at 16.40, I went for it and I sprinted. Last 100! Push! Let's go back, Push! Come on, Kudet! Push me! Push me! Me also, eh? Wait, let him get his glory first. You're taking picture in front of the guy. Vamos! Vamos! Confirm new PB. It's just me, guys. It's just me. Congrats. Thank you. Not mine. Manifest. Let's go, Ari. What's up guys? So, um, very thankful to have gotten a PB. Uh, right now, I'm kind of like rushing for a lunch for dinner with my club mates. But yeah, of course, very thankful to get a PB. 16.40 on the dot. So, yeah. Okay, see you in a bit. Hi Shree. Hi Adi. Hi Sam. Hi Mark. Hi Daryl. Okay, it's been a long day guys. Um, overall, I feel pretty good about the race. Despite the postponement, I still managed to hit my target time of 16.40. Even though I did lose my sunglasses in the process. The race execution was subpar and my pacing wasn't the most consistent. But it's okay. The more 5k races I run, the better I'll get at it. I guess the double training days on Saturdays paid off after all. Since I had to run in the morning and then again in the evening for my race. Um, the race getting postponed was really for the best because of the weather even if i do think i could have ran a high 16.20 or a low 16.30 at least if i finished the run in the morning i just felt so good and fresh ah well suffice to say i am grateful but by no means am i satisfied for now i'll rest recover and prep for my next competition i also want to shout out my friends 
and competitors who cheered me on. I really, really appreciate the athletics fraternity so much. Now, on to my future plans. My next race will be the Zoom Kindred Spirit in November, where I'll be competing in the 400 and the mile. And yes, I'll have another series coming up to cover my lead up to that competition. For now, it's a wrap for my first series on my YouTube channel. If you want to catch the full unedited race, click here and you can watch it on my channel. Thanks so much to everyone who supported me through this. Much love. I'll see you all soon. Peace. Okay, okay. He's going down. He's not going down! <laughs>